Hello everybody, welcome to another LP, and this is a very special one because it involves a game I did not know anything about until the Robot Scott introduced me to it. It is called Age of Empires Part 2, and uh, on Steam they have the HD edition, and uh, he was telling me this is one of his favorite games, or you know the original Age of Empires 2, and he used to play it all the time, he loved it, and I'm always looking for cool new games, you know, or games I might have missed. So I gave it a chance, and I'm now addicted. It is one of the most incredible games ever. It is so much fun. So what you need to know before watching this is I've played the computer, or no, I, I did the tutorial, and then I played the computer and I got slaughtered, but I was, you know, like a noob. I'm, I was just learning how to play, and now Robot Scott is going to take me under his wing and show me the ropes of the game. We played quite a few games together, and the cool thing is each game I improved. Like, I knew more information, I knew how to do things, so I got a lot better as we went on. So this first game, I'm horrible, so please don't say anything, because I know I'm horrible. So uh, I'm going to show the first game and then I'll post the rest of the games later on at some point in time. So hopefully you enjoy and get this game on Steam. It is amazing and if you get it let me know and maybe we can play together. All right on to the video. Here the Byzantines are a defensive civilization. Yeah. They um so I mean you know if if you uh, if you uh, like to play defensively they are good for you know for that. Okay. Um, let me see here. So maybe I'll be them. Yeah, they... Because I'm always yeah. on the defense. Yeah, that might be the way to go. Okay. What does population mean? Population, that's your population limit. You can have 200 people. Then how the heck... Huh. When I played the computer, it said at the end, it says how much military they created. It was a lot more than 200. Well, probably that was over the complete game. Oh, yeah. So, let's see here. I'm going to be the Vikings, I think. I think yeah, I'm just going to go with the Vikings, though. All right. So, this uh -huh. all looked good to you, right? Or should I make it a smaller map, you think? No, that's fine with me. Large map? or What's eight, that? It's at large, eight players. It would be a lot more resources. It's up but to you. Um, I don't you know. know. I'm just going to put it on a normal map, I think. Okay. All right. Um, what's, let's see, uh, victory, how do we win? By killing everyone? Victory, uh, what, uh, we can kill everybody, collect all the relics, and, ha and hold them for a certain amount of time. Oh, wow. Build a wonder, and, uh, have it stand for a certain amount of time. And, uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's, those okay. are the three, the three way to do it. The three ways to do it on standard. Okay. And there's another, yeah. You re, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's rock, baby. All right. Who that was ominous. Yeah. Whew, this is gonna be. It is. This will be this will be good experience for me because I'll get to see what a pro is like. All right. And like I'll know what you're doing, like and how far behind I am compared to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me see here. Um. Now, if right there you are. Okay. What do you mean here I am? You already know where I am. Well, I got, I see where your thing is on the mini map on the lower right hand corner. Yeah. Oh, see... you're in the left. Yeah, you're up top, sort of. Wow. Okay, so we don't have to find one another. Yeah, we don't have to, but yeah, there is a research that we can do that will let us see each other's line of sights, what the other one sees. But that's, you have to be oh. in the second page to do that. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Oh, I, I would. Oh, we do? <laughs> because then that'll help me know where you, you know, what you need, you know? True. I do love this music. It is good. I like it. It's peaceful and relaxing. Yeah. It's Even pretty... when I'm getting killed. Yeah. So basically, my first step, I don't know if you agree with me or not, is I, I like to build houses. Yes, that is a must. Okay, good. absolute must. How many villagers do you usually go with? 
I probably wind up with maybe on a on 200 um, a population. I probably wind up with somewhere around. I want to say it, it's it's probably going to be a lot of times maybe be around 80. Wow, that's a lot. But it's it's probably it's probably going to be like maybe between somewhere around like uh, 60 to 80. Because I do make a lot of farmers. Yeah. Food is extremely important. Yeah. Oh, I gotta chop wood, I forgot. Yeah, that is very important too. Darn it. You know, you gotta get a good balance going on. People getting wood and food, especially at the beginning, then gold. And gold pretty quick, that is. Yeah, that I had trouble with gold in my last game because I I only could find one spot really. Yeah. So I mean, you're sort of at the mercy of what you can find, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that that is true. Now, the, one of the things that you also need to make sure you do as well is um, let me see here is make sure your scout cavalry is still going. What do you mean? You know, you, like the cav the one the cavalry guy that you start off with. Yeah. Yeah, you got to make sure that he still explores the map, especially early on, oh. because you know that's when he's going to be least likely to be attacked. Oh, I see. That's one thing I haven't done. Is that because I usually worry so much about my own group? Yeah. <laughs> that I don't search for others. Yeah. I mean, why does it? Why is that important? Like. To so know you... where they're coming from. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it's important to know where they're coming from, and also to where to send your army whenever, you know, you get to the point where you can't attack. You know. Yeah. Oh, all right. Found some sheep. Ooh. Yeah, and also you Trees. find sheep. You find sheep pretty, or, you know, pretty early on. Even like even uh, after only about. 50 minutes of the game, it'll be hard, it's much harder to find sheep. Now, what are the sheep for again? Food. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see. I wonder if I'm on an island. I like this map. Oh, you do? This is a cool map so far. Yeah, well, it's completely random. Actually, I'm going to take a look real quick. Um, no peeking! Team oh. Islands. Yeah, we are on an island, I think. Are we really? Yeah. When so is there water then? Yes, there is water. Oh boy, I had bad luck with water. That one game. Well, I like Team Islands. I, I mean, I like islands and I like Team Islands. So let me see here. Not enough so, wood. How much wood do I need? Jeez, um. Yeah, you need more than that. <laughs> Hundred, darn it! I'm only at seventy. Oh yeah, I've got to start getting some more wood together, actually. Yeah, wood. I had trouble with wood. Yeah. Oh man. But oh, now I'm getting better there. Okay, build. I'm building a lumber camp. Good. Put it near trees. Oh, but I'm I don't have enough wood to build the lumber. <laughs> oh. Make sure, yeah, just make sure when you go. build those camps, make sure they're near, you know, trees and all that, or the resources, that is. Yeah. I know. What? I, I've sort of learned that the hard yeah. way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hard way, huh? Yeah, oh. I think my one guy was uh, doing the gold, and he was, like, walking a mile to, <laughs> oh, yeah. to put it away. Oh, man. Let's see here. I'm going to have to build a mill now. You're probably going to see my uh, scout cavalry coming around pretty soon. Hey, watch it. I might attack them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't attack them. We're locked on a team together. Okay. But I actually, that is one thing I did do is we are locked on a team. So, <laughs> I've been known to turn on people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So how, yeah, many, just, how many villagers would you assign to chop down the trees? I would assign a good amount. Like a, 10? a decent amount. More. I'd really? Probably, I'd start off... Well, to start off with, 10 is a good number. 
Oh, you don't mess around, do you? No, no. That's just, that's it, you know, you just can't mess around. <laughs> um, let me see here. Need to get some more people here. Uh, yeah, I would get a lot of people, you know, collecting food and wood. You know, food. Oh gonna... no. What's that? I just noticed I am by the water. Yeah. Darn well, it. We're it's team maps. I know. Yeah, <laughs> team island. Team island map. This I mean. is not good. Because I am going to be attacked via the water. Well, yeah. That, well, you know what's good against uh, ships? No. Towers and castles. There you are, right? By yeah. your scout cavalry. I see. Hey, buddy. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it, like, uh, yeah, uh, air, like uh, towers yeah. and castles are really good against ships. Put it by the water? Yes. Okay. You know, if, though, they uh, will attack. They will take down ships pretty fast. I nice. mean, castles, castles can take down ships within a matter of a couple of seconds. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, now I'm going to build a mining camp. I am still making villagers that are doing lumber and food. <laughs> oh, I need food, don't I? Yes, food is very important. I sort of forgot about the food already. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't do that. Um... Okay, you are going to build a farm. And put, yeah, I would surround your town center with farms. That's what I would do. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because, you know, the town center is a resource gathering point, too. But you build a, a mill, too, though, right? Yeah, mills, mills are specifically for food. Um, town centers can be uh, our resource gathering point for all resources. Yeah. So I would I would surround my town center with farms, and I would build a mill, and have surround that with farms. I'm just gonna. I, I sort of screwed up. I, I built uh, the mill sort of right next to the town center, but. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I should have told you. Yeah, usually, whenever I build mills, I build them away. I, whenever I build almost anything, I build them away from uh, the town yeah. center. Yeah. So I can surround my town center with... Uh, oh my god, the computer's already to the feudal age. Yep, both how, of them are. How can they be that quick? Well, they are. I mean, sometimes... I mean, the computer actually does cheat. I, I will tell you this. All right, well, good. At least I'm not seeing things. I mean, I, there have been times like, okay, you can... You know the town center, it can, uh, it's uh, can be uh, whenever it's destroyed in the first two ages. Yeah. You are you are that is it. You are done. You are screwed. Wait, what? Like if the town's your town center is destroyed within the first two ages. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, you would be screwed. But you can rebuild. You can build town centers in the third and fourth age. Oh. But, that's you know, cool. And think. And the thing is, though, I destroyed their town centers once in the in the first and second age, you know, and then I watched the villagers walk over and build a brand new one, you know, Jeez. and they were in the first and second age. Yeah. So it does cheat. I believe it. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay. I've got the outline of the map. We are isolated. Nice. Uh, maybe for me. <laughs> can uh, i yeah. build on the brick oh my yeah. god wow you could i'm gonna bring my scout cavalry is headed toward your town center how dare you how dare i i'll dare <laughs> very well that's how dare i i'm gonna build 10 farms good that's a good start that's an extremely good start and i like the option how you can keep this uh the seeding going yeah. The, I usually you, have, I try to keep like five seeds in advance. Oh, I keep it full at all times. I keep it completely full. Oh. As best I can, that is. Yeah, I should do that too then. But it oh, takes yeah. time to build an economy though. All right, I'm going to the next age. Are you already? 
I'm researching to the next age, yes. How'd you do it that quick? Well, I just got a lot of food. See, I went backwards. I went lumber first, and now I'm doing the food. Yeah, food is the most important to start off with. Darn it. And it's good to get lumber, though. It is good to get yeah, lumber. Yeah, yeah. I'm in good shape with lumber. See, so there you are. Hey, get off my crops, please. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and yeah, there was all those bushes that you could have uh, gotten food from. I I got one person doing the bushes. Yeah, I I what I, what I usually would do it usually myself mm -hmm. is just get all the bushes as fast as I can. Oh, okay. I'll send some more villagers there. Just because it also clears up space. Yeah. Oh, there's some sheep that you could have had. Yeah, I killed one of them. Well, yeah, and you need to, you know, whenever whenever you kill an animal, yeah, get you know get that uh, get that animal, um, you know, uh, uh, people working on it because the food rots on the animal. What do you mean? It slowly the food slowly goes to, counts down if no, uh, I mean on the on animals after yeah. you kill them because the food rots. Well, like right now, I got a guy. <laughs> going yeah. to work on it. That's, yeah. that's all. I don't have to worry about that again, right? He's going to finish him off. Well, yeah, but the food still rots on the animal. Uh -oh. Even though he's working on it. You know. So. Alright. Well, I am there at the next stage. I'm not even close. Let's see here. I am going to use it to that. I'm going to use it to that. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. <laughs> I know that song so well. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> Another feature I really like is the idle villager. The idle villager, feature. yes. That's a great one. Use that one quite a bit. Yeah. When I was doing the tutorial and they showed me that, I thought, when am I ever going to need that? Yeah, but then it is. <laughs> I use it all the time now. Yeah, it is quite important. <laughs> Let's see, I'm yeah. going to build a mill right there. Let's see here. One, two, all right, I got six farms. Four more to go. Okay, so now this guy gutted the sheep. Yeah. So now what do I, it's, how do I get rid of the carcass? Oh. If the carcass is, it just it just disappears. It, oh, okay. Let's go get the other sheep. Oh man, they're already advancing to like the castle edge. And everything. What? I'm still at the very beginning. <laughs> Let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, I've got some more sheep, even. Alright, I got ten farms. Why is my food going up more? It takes a while. My god, it does. Let's see here. I've yet to find stone. Oh yeah, I've got I've found some stone is not at that incredibly common. So it is an important resource, but not early on. Early on. Yeah. You gotta get all that other stuff. Yeah. I got over a thousand wood. Yeah, well yeah, now that now's the time to start uh focusing on other things, you know? Uh, you know, like the food, you know? Yeah. Alright. My guys are working hard. They are. <laughs> yeah. They really are. Now, how much food do you have? 400. Okay. I'm almost there. Then I can advance, yeah. right? Yeah. And well, I need you to. do have the buildings. You do have a, a mill. Built. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just waiting on the food. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I'm ready. I am going to the feudal age, baby. All right. Excellent. 